Hey everybody and welcome back to another layout update. Today I'm going to do uh, a spline tutorial on how I like to do my spline. Uh, some materials that I use today are going to be clamps, my jigsaw with a fine blade, that way it doesn't dull up too badly when I'm cutting through the hardboard. Uh, some certain things I did to make it easier for me as far as measurement for the hardboard to make sure it was pretty even all the way through. But I also screwed down the center part of the 1x4 that I'm using as a um, jig. That way my measurements are pretty precise. Um, I think I've only got just a, like a 1 32nd of an inch difference throughout most of the cut. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do my processing. I'll go through it like three or four times, that way you get an idea of what I'm doing. Uh, measurement wise. So uh, what I like to do is put the clamps here from the last cut. And I kind of got a feel on how I like to pull things. So I pull out the base itself to my hand feel and then I slide the one by four. I have it measured two inches from the jig to the outside of the board and then I like to clamp it down. I have a couple of marks on the board underneath it, that way I can line them up and then make the proper cut. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, pull out my measuring tape. I like to measure the one side and then clamp it down. Um, I go two inches, so I measure that to two. Perfect. Then I slide the whole assembly to the marks that I have on the base and then I just clamp down the one end. That way I know for sure that this is two inches on this end. Double check my measurement right on the mic. Now come on this side. I measure it to two inches. Oh, I shift a little bit. That should be Okay. Slide that to the appropriate spot. And clamp that down. And then I double check. Two. Make sure I have uh, the 1x4 down as close as I can when I run the edge of the jigsaw and I'm going to get you as far as turning the jig and uh, creating some skew lines. Okay, that's a firm there. I'm going to pull out my jig. Video on that when I when I do some spline. That way you guys get an idea of how I do it. 
I don't want to be perfectly uh, cut, but at least you can work with it. As long as the lines are pretty straight, that's pretty much all that matters. You can sand that out with like a surfform tool, uh, a belt sander, etc. I'm going to move on to the next cut. Okay, well that will conclude uh, how I like to cut my spline. I'm sure if you'd like to try something similar to that, that's kind of the idea of what you got to do. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe if you do. And I'll continue to do more how-tos and tutorials as I build my layout along the way. So again, I'd like to thank you for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next